that I have been waiting for for so long now. If you guys saw the title of the video, you already know what's up. This is Daredevil Days. In my opinion, the best time of year to visit Six Flags St. Louis. This is my sixth time, I think, doing this event because I did every year from 2019 onwards. Over the past few years, they've had ERT at night. But because this is the start of Fright Fest as well, they moved the ERT from after the park closed to before the park opened. And the ERT is on Screaming Eagle, Rookie Racer, and the new for 2024, Joker, Carnival of Chaos. I did three rides on Screaming Eagle, one in the front, two in the second and back because there's no one in life for the second and back. It was running great. The front was very smooth, second and back not so much, but the airtime was excellent. And now I'm actually heading down the hill to go ride Joker for the first time. And I've never ridden one of these Zamperla Discoveries before. I've been waiting to ride one until Six Flags and Los Gatos. I figured we'd get one eventually. So we're taking advantage of doing Joker now before the park actually opens because there's, I imagine, a short line for it. I'm actually a little bit nervous for it because I don't know if I'll like it or hate it because Catwoman, I was a little nervous about it, ended up not liking it. Joker looks like it could be different. So we're going to go take a lap on it and see how insane it is. The fun house sadly is not open and I don't know if that'll be open this year or not. It still looks like it'll be pretty cool when it is finished. Uh -oh. doing justice league here and there's a couple things that could be happening with the track today that i'll get to in a little bit after we do mr freeze Whoa. there is a backstage tour of screaming eagle at one o'clock i'm so excited to do that i did this event in 2021 and that was a backstage tour for the event as well eagle wasn't open because they had to remove superman so i've never been back there when the ride's actually running so this will be a first for me once we get off the freeze it'll be straight to the area near skyscraper where we'll be starting the backstage tour from amazing and as you can see we are in uncharted territory right now and by uncharted territory i really mean the back roads of screaming eagle which we're going around the whole perimeter of the ride it looks like which is going to be awesome my friend lula here says it's illegal which you got 400 something thousand on justice league hopefully yeah, you'll max this it this is like super illegal not actually we have passes i don't know where we're going i think we just wait here and oh wow this is a really cool shot right here
to pop your head in the maintenance area. It's uh, tight, so I just kind of say go one or two at a time. I don't want you crossing the track, and I really just want you yeah, Eagle backstage tour and that was my first time being back there with the ride actually running and I gotta say while it was really cool to see the ride running from back there I actually think I preferred the backstage tour of Boss from Daredevil Days in 2022. I feel like I didn't get quite enough time which I had plenty of time I feel like but I don't know there was a couple shots I messed up and I wish I could have redone but I wasn't able to get it unfortunately. Lily what do you think about it? I thought it was interesting. There was a lot of like hills. Like, yeah hilly like, terrain back so there. Yeah, the bees are a big problem this year. And Ellis, what'd you think? You like that tour? It was really good, man. It kind of reminded me of the voyage walk back at Hollywood Nights. I loved getting the good shots back there and stuff. So yep. hopefully they'll do it again back there next year. Not sure if it'll be next year because I was talking with Matt, who's, I guess, the head of ride operations. He told me to talk to Paul, who's the head guy of this whole event, about another idea for tour, which I have been wanting to go into the infield of Mr. Freeze for a while, and I've never gotten to do that. So maybe that'll be the tour for next year. But on all, I think the Screaming Eagle walk back tour was a success.
one boss yet up until this point. So we're gonna be doing that once, maybe twice while we're up here and then go wait for the freak train, which if you're unfamiliar what that is, it essentially means all the people attending Daredevil Days will get to ride the train into the park with all the scare actors. So that'd be pretty cool. We still got about a little over an hour until that happens. So let's do boss and see how it runs today. was running completely unhinged today. I got three rides on it and every single one was absolutely ridiculous. Mr. Freeze has got nothing on it for best ride today. Like, boss kills Freeze. What you're seeing in front of me right now are some of the props from the old Scooby-Doo ride that Justice League Battle for Metropolis replaced. As when I'm recording this, September 14th, 2024, at 6 o'clock will mark 10 years since Scooby-Doo closed forever. In a previous vlog from last year's Fright Fest, I discussed where each of the props shown here could be found in the ride, so it's just a few of them. We got a ghost, we got a tray of some sort, and then we got some and then we also got this <laughs> castle behind it. All those and a lot more. I go in more detail about in that vlog. So I'll leave that in the description of this video so you guys can check it out. We are currently waiting for the freight train to get up here. So once that happens, it'll be down to the park where we'll get to see the steer actors show the train and cause havoc. The freight train is now pulling into the Bugs Bunny National Park train station. We'll be getting on with these freaks very shortly. Here's a view you don't see often. We are riding the train with the freaks. We're going to be stopping back here behind River King Mine Train for a minute to wait for the right time.
is a huge win for this park. It was a lot more intense than I thought it would be. And I would even argue most intense ride in the park. Even over Mr. Freeze and Batman. That's how intense it is. Well, I do enjoy it. I think I can only ride it once per day because it's a lot to take. I would say it's the best non-coaster edition we've had since Justice League in 2015. on Boss and Screaming Eagle and what was going on with those rides Ellis? So Boss was flying tonight and as for Screaming Eagle it was pitch back back there man like those yeah. night rides were incredibly insane. <laughs> yeah definitely the best rides on anything today like I'm convinced Boss is at his peak tonight with how good it's running that is by far the fastest this ran all season and then Screaming Eagle going into the first turn out in the woods riding out with the front row of the blue train that injector was mad like I don't know what crack Eagle was on but that thing was flying way too fast and we got good air time on every single hill except for the dot hill for obvious reasons but eagle absolutely ridiculous but i still think boss is slightly better i mean when boss is at his peak it's hard to beat we're gonna go get our milestones on justice league now because we still haven't done that so let's head down there finish the night with my 101st double max and else and i we got evacuated i was three away from hitting my milestone man one of the those rides you came closer than I think I ever have to max again. I literally got 999,400. I was 600 away. Yeah, one more shot in the fifth screen, he would have nailed it. That's very unfortunate he was that close, but oh well. Overall, Daredevil is. Would you say it was a good day? Absolutely. I enjoyed it. That's the longest I've been out of Six Flags Park in a long time. Yeah, so. we had like 12 hours here today. Despite the fact that Justice League kept breaking down on us over the last couple hours, I would say today was a success. In terms of what my final ride count was from today, it was nine on Justice League, five on Boss, four on Screaming Eagle, one on Mr. Freeze and Joker Carnival of Chaos, and then half a lap on the Thomas G. Robertson Railroad. In terms of highlights, the rides that Boss and Eagle were giving, especially later in the day, were ridiculous. So I'm backstage of Eagle for the first time when it was actually running was quite nice. It was spent some quality time with my friends. That was awesome. And this is overall a great Daredevil days, as well as an awesome start to Pride Fest. And before I conclude this video, if you have sure leave a like if you haven't done so already, be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share with someone else. If you're new to this channel, like this, off, please consider subscribing like this. I appreciate you subscribing and the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Also, have an Instagram account for pictures as you come over visit parks. Please check me out as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.